Hi everyone, this is Anna from Koala Soap and today I'm going to be making um, a regular soap in our small cube sample mold. This is going to be a combination of blue ice and I believe this is Poppin' Pink which is a neon from Stardust Micas. I'm going to tone it down a little bit and put it in our Shea Butter Melt and Pour. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have 7 ounces in each of these, 6, 6.5 to 7 ounces. This measures in at about 19 ounces when I put water in it, but we always know that it always takes a little bit more soap. So I just went ahead and did six and a half to uh, seven ounces in each of these. I have uh, a clear and then I have two um, shea butter melt and pour bases here. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so they're all melted down. And we're gonna see what they're at. Just want to stir and make sure there's no clumps in there. You want me to stir? Well, let's see what they're. I just stirred them. Let's see. 176, 145, 146. So I should stir? You can stir those too, yes, if you'd like to. So, what we're going to do is um, we're going to be using energy today. Um, and I have it. So, since we're doing it roughly. A pound and a half we want to use five uh, mls per pound so I have about seven mls out here and you'll see you'll notice that the energy that I'm using from brambleberry it's a yellowish tint so I'm going to leave it out of my clear melt and pour because I'd like to keep it as uh, clear as possible so what we're going to do is we're going to let these cool down just a little bit more as we know the shea butter melt and pour base always takes a little bit longer to uh, cool down than the clear melt and pour. So we're going to let these cool down just a little bit and then we'll start prepping. Okay, so they're cooled down just a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and get our colors done. So we're going to put, um, I'm going to have one pink and one blue ice here. And then I'm also going to be using this uh, biodegradable glitter, which it says it's made in the USA, made from plants and not plastic we're going to be using that. So first of all, we'll go ahead and mix our blue eyes, which of course you guys know is my absolute favorite. And we'll get that mixed there. And then we'll do the pop and pink, which is a very um, bright neon pink. And we're going to put that in our shea butter to tone it down just a smidge. So I'm going to go ahead and put blue ice in now. We'll make sure we get it all in there. And stir it nicely. And then we will get our pop and pink mixed and we will pour that one in. This one has a little bit less. I think this was my 6.8, so we're gonna put that one in here. And this, of course, will bring it down even a few more degrees. We're gonna pour these as cold as possible. I need to see, um, basically, when it starts to get a skin, all of your bases will have a different, oops, let's move that. Um, will have a different um, point where it starts developing a skin, just depending on the brand. I believe this brand gets down into the one teens. I'm not sure though. I know that the glycerins will develop a skin much sooner. 166, 142, 135. So to cool it down even more, I don't wanna put, since this is so yellow, I'm gonna keep it in here. In here, I guess I can put a little bit in blue eyes. And that was energy. And you can kind of see how it just colors it a little bit. Luckily that pop in pink, pretty resilient. And now I think we've lowered our temperature quite a bit. That's 165. It says 125 and 131. 
So not until these develop, start to develop a skin um, am I going to start to pour. So we will be back. We're just going to let these uh, start to set in a little bit. Okay, so let's see. One forty six, one twenty two, one seventeen, and we still have no skins on it, so we're just gonna have to let them set. I'm gonna put um, a little bit of biodegradable glitter in this one. Sorry, I have a. Uh, kids in and out of the house right now, so I'm trying to keep it down to a little lower here. And I guess we can just put like just a little bit there. So one little spoonful, and then we'll go ahead and start mixing. So I'm not sure if you could see this, but you can see the blue, the glitter. And before we pour, you want to stir that again. We want this to be really cool because we want to keep the glitter suspended. I knew that we were only going to see much of it in Hawaii. I just took whatever was left on that spoon and put it in there. In the pink, you probably can't see because of the lighting, but I can see it's shimmering a little bit, but nothing like it does in glycerin, in uh, glycerin soap. So that's where you want to really use your glitter when you're doing these kind of soaps with uh, your uh, biodegradable glitter. These are still not even developing a skin. They are pretty thick, so I will anticipate probably another 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and start our pour. Okay, let's see where we're at on our temperatures. I've got a pretty good skin going on, our blue ice glycerin here. 122, 122. these are pretty thick but no skin. 109, 104. So what I'll do is we're gonna start pouring. Now I've always noticed that glycerin seems to be heavier and it always sinks to the bottom. So I'm gonna actually pour this last. I'll pour my white first. And I'll just alternate them a little bit. Let's see what happens when we pour this pink in. Just do a little bit to see. of the blue ice in. Okay, we're just gonna alternate a little bit. Well, let's hope they don't muddle together, but they might. I would have liked to have poured it a little cooler, but what I've noticed is in the past when I've done that, is that it kind of just is a big clump, and I, I really I kind of want to avoid that this time around. So last, let's do this blue. We'll kind of go high up, so it kind of, I already know it's gonna kind of fall to the bottom. It's just so heavy. I guess the other answer would probably be to take some titanium dioxide or just white mica and put it into clear um, because it does dry so much faster.
So I'm not sure we're ever going to see the white again, but we shall see. We're going to go ahead and let this sit. And then we're going to go ahead. I'm thinking on the top I might um, let this dry a little bit and just kind of fluff it up a little bit with these three colors and just make it kind of, um, I don't know, like a rougher little top. So we'll let this dry up a little bit. Then maybe we'll go ahead and put this. We'll peel the skins off and then we'll just kind of put it on top. Okay, we'll see you soon. So our top is a little... Um, set so I can start you know disrupting it a little bit I've gone ahead and I peeled some of our uh, melt and pour uh, the shea butters are still kind of wet um, that's fine it's just that it makes it a little bit harder but I kind of just want to put a little top on this so what we're going to do is I'm just going to I, I'm going to consider this doing a little bit of a scoring as you can see, it's still kind of wet. The shea butter melt and pour base always takes a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of break this apart a little bit and just kind of set it in there. I honestly, uh, cautiously optimistic would be my word for this soap. Um, I really like making these soaps. I just get really nervous about the muddling and all of that, even though we poured very cool. It's just that once you start stirring with the skewer and stuff like that, you start to, you can possibly get into some problems. That being said, Kaylin, these are never stay in stock because she goes out there. It's summertime, so she wants extra money for, you know, going out with her girlfriends and stuff. And she will go door to door around our neighborhood to houses we know. And she sells the soap and it's gone. I mean, she comes back and it doesn't take her very long. She's just this natural little salesperson. Um, I couldn't do it. And that's one of the reasons why I had to take my store down because my soap was always like, she was sold out, you know, and then people would buy and then I didn't have it. And I just kind of said, okay, well, what we're gonna do is we're a teaching channel only right now. So we're just going to show people how to do it and then maybe later on when I start making full scale, when I figure out techniques I really like, see what's really popular, I'll go from there. And so here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some clear melt and pour and I'm going to pour it on top of this. I'm not even sure the white's going to make a lot of sense because I think it combined with a pop and pink. Oh well, still a pretty combo. So like I said, I'm cautiously optimistic. I don't know what it's gonna look like on the inside. Kaylin's gonna love it regardless. She's been on me to make uh, more than one or two soaps because she really wants to hit the uh, neighbors. I guess some of them are bugging her about buying some more. So if they don't like it, we won't make it again. Okay, so what all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just take some clear melt and pour. I'm going to squirt with alcohol again. I'm just going to pour it on top and then we'll be back for the cut um, in several hours. Uh, shea butter, since it does take a, a lot longer to cool down, um, it's going to take a lot longer to set, especially in the middle. So we will be back. Okay, everybody, we're back and we're going to go ahead and cut the soap. We're going to go ahead and get our gloves on. And that's what it looks like. I am cautiously optimistic, but we shall see. Actually looks kind of cool. I'm actually happy with that. Okay. I cannot cut straight. That's why I have to use this. I've seen people do videos where they cut perfectly after they score it. I just, I'm just not that person. There you go. 
And we usually get about three and a half good one inch bars and a little tester for our bath here. Okay, so I have the day off. My plan today is to actually work on the website. I, I like them. They actually, I love that blue. I just, I love this blue. I, I know I've said it in so many other videos. Um, if you look, it's just a really nice blue. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this soap. It was actually, it turned out much better than I thought. I actually really, really like it. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will be back with another video. You guys have a really good week.